Too Dark, now out on the PlayStation 4, is a dark, gloomy, and gritty, atmospheric, story-driven experience. But is this game a bright spot for gaming, or is it just too dark for its own good? The number one thing I end up liking most about Too Dark above all is that it doesn't end up pulling punches. This game is very dark. In fact, it may be actually too dark, pun intended here, for some gamers. The game story revolves around a character named Smith, whose wife is murdered and his kids are kidnapped while he's on a camping trip. He, of course, ends up going down a very dark, depressing road that you find out a little bit more about as the story progresses, but his main goal is to, well, try to save other kids that have now all of a sudden been kidnapped and gone missing in his small hometown. Each of the game's levels has you going and stealthily trying to find and save all the kids by bringing them back to the starting point of a particular level, all while having to deal with enemies that are sneaking around them, taking them out if you want to, and dealing with an evil serial killer who ends up working as the boss of that particular stage. While there are many levels to the game, there is a story that interweaves between one another as you find the connections between all of these evil people. The game's graphics may not be anything to write home about. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of a Nintendo DS game from back in the day. But what I really dig in the game is the art style when it comes to the game's like posters and other artwork that you find scattered throughout the course of the levels. This has a really horror kind of look to everything and just really ends up staining out. And it's brutal at times as well. Like I said before, this game pulls no punches. Speaking of not pulling punches, you can actually kill the children in the game. Of course, you're not supposed to, but let's say you're trying to face off with a bad guy and one of the kids kind of gets in the way. If you fire a bullet at one of those bad guys and it hits the kid, it will end up killing them. I just give this game credit for taking that risk, especially in the modern climate of gaming where this may end up getting pretty controversial. Well, the game does have a heavy emphasis on its stealth, staying in dark areas or tiptoeing behind enemies to take them out. Thankfully, if you're spotted, it's not a game over. You can try to fight your way out of it or try to run away, and there's usually more than one way to take out an enemy, whether it be from a melee weapon or a gun or even other creative ways, whether it be poisoning enemies or putting them to sleep to get around them. This game has a lot of creativity when it comes to dealing with each situation. Something that threw me off a little bit at first was the fact there's no checkpoints in the game. When you're in the middle of a mission, if you end up failing, you have to start over again, but you can save manually at any time by smoking a cigarette. Of course, you can't do this when you're in the middle of combat. Of course, an enemy's gonna stop you from doing so, but before you end up dealing with an enemy, you could have a quick smoke break save, and thankfully, there's really no load time when it comes to getting back after you end up failing to take out an enemy. So, saving as much as you want to is kind of encouraged to make sure you can test things out or try different different ways of dealing with different situations. One of my only gripes with the game is with the sound effects. They're very stock, it's the same ones you're going to be hearing over and over and over again, especially the children's cry sound. It's really generic and it's only one cry sound effect in the entire game, so anytime you're around the children or in a room with them, you're going to be hearing that sound effect over and over again. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me, but there was some slowdown from time to time, especially with multiple enemies kind of going at once. It didn't really take me out of the experience or anything like that, but it was noticeable. Too Dark is available on the PlayStation 4. It does not feature a full trophy list or a platinum, unfortunately. If you're someone who really digs horror and dark and gore, you're probably going to really dig what's presented here. It's not over the top with its gore, but some of the artwork is pretty jarring for sure. I love the fact that this game takes a risk in this day and age by putting some of this content out there. It's not glorifying serial killers or anything like that. They are truly the bad guys, but at least they are creatively well done and you want to keep taking them out, advance through the levels and find out exactly what is going on. Where is the big picture when it comes to this small town and all the kidnappings that are going on? With everything said though, I'm going to be giving Too Dark an 8 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed. Love.